Well, look what YouTube decided to do for the playlist of Erie, Indiana. No, this isn't my playlist. This isn't my reactions. This is where I was getting the videos from. Yeah. I mean, YouTube deleted it, so. Oh, look, Daily Motion. Uh, Erie, Indiana. The only place where I have, have went to different websites so many times just to get the episodes. I mean, first I was on Hulu, then I was on Daily Motion, then I was on YouTube, and now I'm back to Daily Motion. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering um, why uh, I wasn't uploading that much lately, well, two reasons. One, I was just busy. Two, when I wasn't busy, I decided to withhold from recording because I didn't want to wear you guys out. After all, one thing I noticed with a lot of reactors who just keep pumping out episode after episode after episode is I get a little worn out and I decide to take a break from them for a while and then come back later. And usually I don't do who don't come back for a while. So to prevent that, I decided to slow down on the reactions a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> because before, I was doing a reaction either every day or every other day. I'm going to slow it down a bit more. Just so I don't wear you guys out, okay? Okay. Okay. Anyway, Area Indiana, episode 11, but really 12. Marshall's Theory of Believability. Well, he did believe that if you just say, he, if you just tell them your feelings, then everything will just be peachy. You know that's not how the real world works. Marshall, I thought you were smart. Anyway, enough of me on that subject. Let's get into the episode. That's a stuffed pig. And when I mean stuffed, I don't mean it's an actual pig. That's a stuffed animal! Seriously, man, that's not even convincing. That's not science! That's a stuffed animal in a tank of water! So you're just going to refrain from saying paranormal and parabolipable. I guess technically some of this stuff is that, but... Courage to seek out the mysteries of the world by visiting my humble museum. If we open our minds as much to be 
be seen, and much more to be believed. In my unending search for the truth, I have discovered an object about to enter the Earth's orbit. Now, my colleagues at NASA have assured me that this object is neither American or Russian in its origin. I was going to say China. Of course it would. Finally, there was somebody who I could believe. Better yet, there was somebody who I believe me. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think he's a hack. Well, maybe not for this, but some of that stuff would, you know. No, <laughs> uh, it's not that convincing. We are a couple of kids. Oh, a flip runs up big foot. How original. Mr. and Mrs. Walter Fox yeah, because no one ever, no one else has ever ma uh, made a cast of Bigfoot's footprint. Never. And the footprint breaks. And, and it's broken. It's broken, isn't it? Don't worry, you're gonna love it. It's my best work yet. Yeah. Yep, I knew it. Excuse me, Professor. Footprints broken, footprints broken, footprints broken. A footprint of the Midwest Bigfoot. Showtime. It's broken. That's right. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's a left bipod with the opposable thumb. It's a box of dirt claws. I told you! It's broken. But it was just like you described it in your book. Yeah. How did I know? Is there um is there some problem? Not for long, yeah. Problem is this museum museum here is on public property in this town the public does. Officer Knight, we do a citation. Violation four two A dash seven seven, leaky oil pan. Violation of Civic Code PDQ-69, unsightly display of satellite antenna in the business district. Violation of Traffic Code. This could go on forever. <laughs> Let's cut the chase. We don't like outsiders here. Especially the kind of government making predictions about UFOs without a permit. Let me tell you something about eerie, Mr. Professor. You know, people from these parts like to breathe through their mouth. They just do, understand? <laughs> See, the point is, eerie is an all-American normal town, and we aim to keep it that way. Yeah, that's what we called it, eerie. 
Brown has decided that you better get your, uh, what do you call it? My, my museum? Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. If this thing is off public property by sundown, we'll track you down and write you up. Okay, so what are you gonna do with that vacuum cleaner? Save the next life, Professor. Oh ye. Sorry about that, Professor. That's okay, son. It's a small world filled with little minds, but I'm used to it. I'd love to talk further with you boys, but I must be moving on. This is awkward. Hmm. Ah, Bigfoot. This is a very cozy YouTube. Mom's science isn't cozy. What do we have? Space noodles and moon sauce. Sir. Macaroni cheese. Go for it, son, and I'll cover for you. Thanks for the lovely dinner, Mrs. Teller. You're welcome, son. Mom? Yes, sweetheart? How would that be for Sir Conn getting along? Oh, fine. They're just at each other's throats. Object research. <laughs> Debris he kind of lands a lot of the time, and it's just that uh, it usually burns up before it lands. At least if I'm remembering right. Yeah, but when stuff does fall into the atmosphere, a lot of the time it just gets burnt up. Anyway. And I'm sorry, there's nothing wonderful about boys wasting the evening in the front yard. I mean, why don't we just send them out there on Christmas to get Polaroids of Santa's reindeer? I happen to know a little something about orbital mechanics and... Editor, please. No, no dear, I have my question. Uh, for your information, uh, Professor Sir, Sir, I interned at the Smithsonian Institute of Portland in Syracuse to do my undergraduate work on archaeology. And I... Mm-hmm. Hey, Bigfoot. Ah! 
It's a female Bigfoot. I received a NASA scholarship to MIT, where my thesis mattered. What is it exactly? Who received rave for you? <laughs> That's because it's the real thing. Discovering the unidentified space object was the biggest thing that ever happened in the Erie. Suddenly, the whole town was daring to believe. Everybody was getting their 15 seconds of fame. And I mean everybody. It's too early to say, of course, but this may change the way we look at the past. Word TV. This is only scratching the surface. You wouldn't believe some of the things that go on around here. For instance, you might say that we here in Erie feel that we each own a piece of this incredible thing. So let's break it and take a piece for ourselves. The space thing. Hmm. What's the big whoop? It's just some sort of time capsule from another galaxy. See, we here in Erie are simple down to earth folk. Weird, bizarre, unexplained things. I've never happened around these parts. Given that fact, I think that our last offer is more than generous. Oh, hello! 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 Hello, advertisements! Hello! Uh, hello, advertisements! It's been a while since I've seen you! Please tell me it did not And a camera with wide selfie mode to capture all of the special moments. The new Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge are here. I'm afraid Expert of service, unbeatable happened. price. Best Buy. It did. It did. This is one thing that. Weird, bizarre, unexplained things. Looks like my lucky streak with Daily Motion ended. Seriously, nothing weird happens in Erie, and yet the guy dresses Elvis is right behind you. I was never crushed by the fact that Santa wasn't real because my parents right out told me that Santa was never real in the first place. Seriously, you never. No, it, uh, come on, I mean, come on, Marshall. At first, I was calling out that stuffed pig thing because I thought they didn't have the budget, but now you're just stupid. And to think I thought you were smart. I guess that's one thing about your Indiana. You get stupider the longer you stay there. Nah. Hmm. 
Hmm, secret panel. Wow, good thing he wrote fake IDs in Sharpie right on that folder. But the thing is, that's actually the real space. That's actually real, and not the fake one. I mean, have a theory. Yoshizaki Consortium prepared to make you a final offer. One million dollars. Yeah. For sole ownership of the space thing. You need to come up with a better name for it. He's not lying. I was never told there was Santa Claus, so I was never disappointed there was no Santa Claus. <laughs> It's the real thing. <laughs> And it's blurry. I don't film cameras, film cameras. Are you old yet? 
Well, technically, I'm not sure if that's a film camera. Yeah, I probably not. Still. Well, at least it's proof. Our picture looks like every other crummy picture I've ever seen of a UFO. Yep. It could be almost anything, but for Simon and me, it represented something very important. It allowed us to believe in the unbelievable again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Didn't have much to say in the episode. Except one thing. Marshall, you're an idiot. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm not going to go into a long winded rant like I did in the Zack Files. Uh, anyway. Yeah, overall, that was a decent episode. Although, I once again have to knock down points for Marshall being an idiot. I thought he was smarter than this. But nope! <sighs> but hey, at least he's not as stupid as Zack! Anyway. This is Blue Box Angel, and until next time, goodbye!